what's up guys it's mr jam man um got a bunch of things while i was doing this intro so we're gonna hop right into battle play two games with this team got dropped in both um and so we're going to be winning 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 uh finny um i actually played one and it was a choice card trick finny um the opponent did well i had him beat and then um he switched and it was like a sword dance weave out Chuck, I don't know why I forgot that that's a possibility. So locked into it being banded, then boom. I was locked into Stealth Rocks with the Choice Car Swampert, and then it was a done dealio from there. Um, but phase one is certainly gonna. Oh right, I forgot I get six sold by Finny. Right, right. Like I literally in the last game I was thinking like, yo, Finny's a problem to me. Um. Yeah, I, I don't know why I forgot that I said that I lose to Finny. Um, this isn't horrible. Uh, major inning kiss skulls though, but at plus two, you should die to Volt Switch and to Shadow Ball. Hmm. Dragapult. All you specs. Shadow Ball is obviously ideal because I don't think he has a. Ghost resist plus two. Polt isn't very weak. I mean, fourth isn't Polt isn't very strong, and Finny's very weak. So see, it doesn't even kill. So I gotta hope that this Zapdos is faster. If not, then I lose. I don't know what's been going on with the brain today. <laughs> like it's just off. And then you know, it's funny. I was like, okay, I'm not gonna record right now. My focus is off. But um, I want to start getting my doing my recordings earlier in the day because when it when I wait till later, um, until I get things settled in, it's just more of a hassle and sometimes it doesn't get done. Um, Cause I may leave and go somewhere and you know, for sake of time, I don't make it back or it's too late by the time I come back or whatever. So, um, well, what am I even trying to do here? Well. Dull shuts down cart D Knight Tensile Shifu da -da. Um, Swampert Skull here is to do what? I mean if he leaves this in he's gonna go for rocks or knockoff right and say he's choice carved. I might not be <clears throat> Rocks don't matter that much in this game, but it'd be helpful to punish punish to punish this uh, or Shifu uh, I mean this Landers uh, Toxic would be gray here, but I lose all leverage if he goes to Cart Yeah, so he, he rocks hard which is best case for me shows me that he's not choice scarfed and I get to flip turn here um, And so that's gonna punish this Lando meaning it's no longer gonna be a Dragapult answer uh clef should shut down all variants of dragonite he trench shuts down all variants of volk um and right excellent oh he's defensive yeah that flip turn missed i'm not even intimidated that literally missed okay uh that's fine assuming i connect here if i don't it puts me in a weird spot okay excellent um excellent excellent uh his his rocks being up is a little annoying but um, i don't think there was any way to avoid that situation um she don't want zapdos losing its rocks here if this is scarf unless it's speed boost we're gonna sack swampert here because we don't want um so he really swords dance there so again unless it's a speed boost variant i'm good if it is speed boost then I would have just gone to Zapdos anyway, but what this allows for me to go to pull here and just click Shadow Ball. Um, that's why there is no point in setting up. I was actually very surprised um, by that, but you know, 1600 makes sense. Um, couple options here Clef, Moonblast, Twice, Zapdos. Volt switch. 
Yeah, let's go dose break the because I don't think he'd be able to hit me. But if he does, he'll go for dragon move, right? Risk um, static. So he does have a dragon move, which is rare, but it's not even close to it. To actually, this close to it to a KO. Um, but this shouldn't be because usually they have like dual wing beats and whatnot. So um, yeah, just figured I'd get some health back. Um, even though I don't think it'll ever matter. Because he has the surging strikes lock here and think that's not banded because you didn't kill me um clef is just so powerful but i didn't kill him well pulse should never die because you're already critting me so yeah I was gonna say unless he crits, but you're already critting. Um, so I'll hard trend since it's taunt trend. There's no real reason to play around, even if it's. Uh, well, I guess that's not true. But max for that train a toxic. Um, no hope for this folk. Uh, it's not even psychic. So just magma storm here. Those bug buzz are hurting though. Very impressed with those bug buzz in that game. Um, you should forfeit here. Um, just earth power but yeah that was um close uh, we'll be getting back up as I do daily but yeah I don't know what my brain has been this has been a really interesting day guys um how are you guys doing it's been a really interesting month is, is it just me or did March feel like it, it was a super long month? Like, I remember things that happened March 1st that felt like that was a month and a half ago, two months ago. But it's just the 30th. You know. Um, so let's break this one down again. Because uh, we did we throw some off our way? No, we didn't. That was another game, I think. Uh, so Swampert here, core purpose, uh, well, it's just really, really difficult to KO. Unless he plays that clef well, Swampert will disrupt every member with either Toxic or Earthquake in the case of um, Galarian Sloking. And that's why I'm glad for that young flip turn there. Um, those core purpose is to Mel Metal check. Um... It's, it's really good otherwise as well if I can somehow harm his crook volt switching all over his team um, is lovely if Mel Metal dies then CM Clef wins um, Scizor is very good here very very good especially with a slow team like his very good um, forces Mel Metal in and then um, Pult can do stuff um, I'll just need to get rocks up and remove that Mandibuzz's item. And Mandibuzz will likely be his initial switch to my Scizor anyway, so that will work out. Um, removing Crook with Scizor means if he leaves with it, actually, yeah. <clears throat> Ostrer, slow bro. So I'm guessing Helmet. I'm surprised he slow bro considering Swampert could have just easily started this game off. In fact, not really no reason why Swampert couldn't have started the game off, if I'm honest. Um, but he Ostrer scald. Which means you definitely leave this in to <clears throat> to slack off or talk, yeah. So I guess he's not fearing toxic or he doesn't know. Come on, man. Come on, dude. Now he's going to go to his clef. Uh, that toxic would have been delicious because this is Rocky Helmet. Um, and if he stays in, I mean, if he stays in, if he stays in, it's annoying. I don't want him staying in. He does. Um. So thankfully, no ban. See, teleports here. I don't agree with that at all. Um, I get, you know, wanting to burn Swampert, but I don't think it was enough to where. Mm, maybe it is. I think he's really weak to Heatran. That's what I was saying. Well, you wouldn't want slow, bro. Because if when my Heatran comes in, if I click, if I hit the Magma Storm, it's a done deal, right? Um, so we're gonna see what this Mel Metal has in stored. Yeah, so it does get paralyzed, which is great for us as we are able to heat wave hard. Um, just to get that little bit of damage on the crook. Oh, he goes Galar, which makes Volt Switch very, 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 very helpful here. 
Um, but those rocks are going to be <clears throat> just awesome. Just, just such an awesome thing. Um, I know these things tend to run scald, and I don't think there's a way around it. Well, there is um, Polk in mid ground, but he does future sight. Didn't expect the sight from the future. And so he was willing to sack Slowbro, I'm guessing, or he was. Either way, um, U turn did. That's an adamant U turn, man. Adamant choice banded U turn. Scissor. 69 he dies uh just debating yeah let's put because i wanted to knock there but trying versus future side is good especially if man buzz is uh the way he plays he won't switch he might have knock that would be annoying okay uh, so we're in a magma storm here. Um, oh, it's a big miss. Cloaking would be dead if I hit that. But you know, it is what it is. As we're gonna pull it again. So again, I don't think he should be future sighting. So yeah, I've seen earthquake variants of these, which is why I'm like, okay, let's be wary here. Excellent, excellent. So at least I know he won't scald, which is what I wanted to condition him into. Get Swampert in for free. I knew he's gonna future sight. That is fine. Um, I guess I take a little bit of damage from slow bros hit slow bros health here um, But if he leaves it in it dies, I guess he could teleport I Get to knock here because the way he plays he's gonna just just try to teleport. I'm tired of this rocky helmet Oh, he slacks. That's fine expected me to go to my heatran so knockoff here <clears throat> guarantees value. Um, right, Mandibuzz has to come in now. Polt, <clears throat> Polt is a really, really big issue for him. And so Tran is going to come in. I've shown Taunt. He could still leave it in. Oh, that sucks. That sucks. But it is what it is. It is what it is. Crocodile, huh? I'm not sure what to expect from this Pokemon, to be honest with you. Because uh, the way he's playing is like, well, is this? And he has no item. Clef doesn't need his item to sweep. Okay, this man's tripping. Unless you have some. Unleash the tech on me, bro. Weakness policy. It must be like Life Orb. Mm, is that something I want? If I lose a mine, I'd lose it. Would it be Clef? Yeah, I can win without Clef. Would it be Life Orb though? What the hell? What's the point of that? So I know he doesn't knock me out now that he's rest. It's very odd. I wouldn't have bulked. That's a very cool set, but I wouldn't have bulked up right now. And the fact that he's doing, I'm doing so well, I don't think he's for So he just wasted his crook <clears throat> completely. I don't think his mail can touch my Zapdos based on how he's playing. So now Zapdos can Volt Switch all around. Um, very good double there, but you know, you're screaming Future Sight. Uh, let's see. Actually, I'll position Scizor well since you're Future Sighting. Um, you don't want to die to knock. So, condition Mandibuzz. Oh, Crook comes in. Um, which is great for Tran here. <clears throat> mm -mm -mm. EQ plus future science. Uh, Swamper can take both, but Swamper is way too good here. Um, so she can now be able to almost technically bullet punch for free. All right, so we'll mid ground Cliff. Um, he future sights again, forgetting about his original future sight. Um, sloppy play, but I know he's going to go for future sight here, expecting me to pivot. Yeah. <clears throat> so the question is, because Mel Metal comes in here. Mm. See how much it does to Mel Metal. Oh, he's leaving this in. That's actually good for me. He predicted me to <clears throat> pivot to Heatran there. 
So this is like amazing situation because now um, I saw Boil with no risk because Sludge Bomb plus Future Side is not doing any kind of damage, not with the boost. Um, so I'm trying to force them into Mel Metal. Okay. But very good Earthquake read there. I could definitely understand why you'd expect that. Um, but he's not switching. Okay. If he wants to keep staying in, fine. Um, okay, doc. And he's still not switching. Is he crit fishing? Unaware, huh? Wonder if he'll be rocks though. Unaware is irrelevant for my tran. Um, yeah, I want him calm minding because now I know he won't switch. Well, he might, but he tran, particularly this set, completely annihilates him. So I just need the magma trap here. Um, <clears throat> as he goes to slow king. Finally, we connect. <coughs> Because of how important this train is, no reason not to swamp it. Literally, none, none. Uh, and flip turn guarantees value because the slow bro no longer. And so, this is the vortex we were waiting on. Because force Mel Metal in, but if I can get him to go to his mandibles once, yeah, then now Dragon Pole just Shadow Ball spams. Um, and since he's shown U-turn, he's probably a, um, he's probably a not I'm um, foul play variant. So non knockoff. I'd still try to roost, but hey, he doesn't go for it. And so now Swampert can come in on the slow king, um, without fear, because I know I don't need to. And if he goes double Samanda Buzz, <clears throat> then I toxic it. Excellent, excellent. The way I'm playing, I'm pretty sure he's going to leave this in. But even if he doesn't, I'm fine. Um, so he goes to slow, bro. Cool, cool. Mm -mm, so I'm pretty more useful. <clears throat> he makes call of predicting trend, but... Um, I disagree with the cliff play completely. I don't understand the cliff decision. Like you never beat Tran, ever. So you just give Tran a free switch. Okay. Um, okay. I mean, no complaints here. I've shown you taunt. So you know you don't come out of this unscathed. Maybe it's, uh, okay, I, I'm not sure, you know, what else I wanna do. And he hasn't shown Skull, so maybe he doesn't have it. Uh, I guess it doesn't make sense to have Skull plus Earthquake, which means Swampert infinitely switches in on this. Um, so flip turn is free no matter what he did there. Uh, and Sis, we're trying to force uh, Mel Mel or Mandy to get sacked, even if he doesn't switch here. Okay, Mel Mel finally is coming in. I'm not even sure what Mel set this is, but. Um, Free volt switch. I want to see if he's it's probably oh he's leftovers. Probably leftovers max for death. We just weaken him a little bit. Um, so that substitute. Okay. By all means, my guy, substitute. Double iron bash. Okay, whatever. Zapdos is literally here to beat you. So, okay, that's fine. That would have been annoying. Body press, huh? Haven't seen this set in quite some time. Very, very cool stuff. Very dangerous set. Very dangerous set indeed. But not versus a max defense Zapdos, unfortunately. Um, so Galarian, but now I've confirmed no Scald, so um, you're forced to continually future sight. Um, and me knowing this, to kind of speed this up a bit, I'll go Sizz here. Uh, Cause now you never flamethrower. Ooh, sludge bomb. It's not what you want. It's not guarantee a KO here. Eh, U-turn's fine though. U-turn might even kill it from there. Yeah. 
Okay, so now we pick up a KO. We just needed to get some conditions met. Um, so, Shadow Ball is pretty much over here. Um, so it's just not a good matchup. But it's a very passive team, and I don't agree with how he played his Crook. I think the Crook could have been a very cool, um, troublesome mine. That did nothing. Scissor roll, but whatever. Yeah, we get it. I was like, there's no way we're doing 43, and that's average damage. Um, there's no real reason for me to ever switch. GG, bro. Um, so we're going to grab one more to wrap it up. Mm -mm -mm. But yeah, March has just felt like uh, quite the month quite the month um, hopefully everybody is healthy and doing well though uh, let's pause all right so we got a very similar team to the first one it might even be the same no it wasn't the same do it but very similar team no ghost resist Though I don't have any either, so that Aegis Slash can absolutely eat me alive. Um, he trained to shut down everything, and him having Aegis Slash in the mix. Well, I guess Clef was never be invoked, to be fair. I'd need quite a few boosts for that to happen. Um, but, you know, Landa being troublesome as usual. Why do I care? So I'm pretty Hmm. Yeah. Huh. Wonder if this is AV. If it's not, he loses a mine here. If it is, I mean, if you were AV, would you have started with this? So your fires is dragon, dragon knight. Let's find out. Okay, so I guess AV is the wave now. I figured if he if it was AV and he left it in, um. I can U turn out after the fact. I would have liked to keep my specs. Um, but if he was Navy and Sleep Powder, that would have been pretty tough. So he's probably going to commit to knock here. Mm. I think Clef and Jai and I should be enough. So now we're staring at Volcarona and Aegis Slash. Uh, actually, no, that's too high risk. Corona Aegis Slash. Because mm, he could stay into Giga Drain for some reason. Landers, huh? Makes sense. It's a mid ground. Um, now I gotta find out what kind of Lando this is. This defensive. <sighs> Good and bad. Hmm. This one isn't going as well as the last, but what I got going for me big time is Zapdos. Zapdos plus Heatran. So I have the defensive um, advantage. Okay, let's play the long game here. Mm, is rocks more important? Because you either stay in here or you go Tangrowth. If he goes Tangrowth, do I care to toxic that? Not at all. Rocks are more important. Um, so he's trying to weaken me so that Aegis Slash doesn't be down, but I want your Lando toxic big time. Um, okay, that's fine. That's fine. We get to find out what kind of Aegis Slash this is. Uh, it's probably choice casino item. Probably 100% Shadow Ball here. The Specs Ball will definitely destroy me. So I'll give him the Swampert. Yeah, he's definitely Specs. Um, so we're like having Dryer Pole would be so good. Um, I guess I technically can still go Pult. Tangrowth coming in isn't great for him. Unless he's not Specs. 
He shot us now. He wasn't. Um, I knew if I made that play and he wasn't, I wouldn't lose the game. So it was a, you know, mm, meh risk play, but um, that lets me know he's not choice, which is good information. It means Abdos almost single handedly beats my opponent now. So we click Heat Wave here. Dragonite doesn't make sense unless you're fast toxic. What? Why is this dude max speed toxic? I lose. Who the f why would you be max speed toxic? Cause I'm like, what why would you go Dragonite? But I'm like, if he has toxic, no way he's running because for Dragonite to hit 240, you need to be running a lot of speed. For I, for that particular set, I don't think that's necessary, but it worked. And it's gonna probably be my downfall. I just gotta see how much speed that is. That's he 180 speed in a defensive Dragonite. Oh my god. Mm -mm -mm. That is likely gonna be my downfall there. Um not sure how I'd win this otherwise. Uh, he goes to rapid strike. It's protective pad, which is good news. Um, very high likelihood he gets paralyzed. I mean, you're hitting me three times. There we go. I'm like, come on, bro. I'm like, come on, bro. Um, so that being paralyzed is a big deal. Okay, now he's gonna go landers here. Watch. Um, I need him to, yeah, I need him to make unnecessary reads. That Lando play wasn't necessary, but yeah, I have hope now that that happened because he U-turns here, I positions to zero. Mm. If, if I can get rid of his landers, so here, if I can get him to double switch to probably or Shifu, I don't if I if I get this free switch in a train, he loses a Pokemon. Uh, yeah, but I figured if he went D Knight, I'd just go Clef. So unless he roosts, yeah. Man. Okay. So we'll pivot to Age of Slash here, and he has Toxic. Man, what a weird set. Uh, we'll just Magma Storm. D Knight likely to come out, but on the off chance he chokes um, and gives me that, I want to take advantage of that situation. I want to condition him into going into D Knight. Um, toxic. Toxic didn't make any sense there. Why did he toxic? He's trying to maybe condition me into thinking he doesn't have it, but there's no way I'm falling for that. Um, so Tangrowth comes in, which means now you pivot to Age of Slash because you're trying to condition me and get the free switch. So I'll just go Heatran and then Toxic back. Or if you don't do that, I get to Toxic into your D Knight. If he goes to Lando here, good play. But yeah, I figured. <clears throat> so now this gives me a little more wiggle room as I can pivot to Zapdos. Um, and we can Volt Switch for free. Quote unquote. Tangrowth likely to come in. Uh, but he keeps going into Landers. I figured, okay, if he keeps going Lando, he has to take Rocks plus Toxic. I could see him. EQing here, but a defensive land on not EQ on my clef with EQ. Yeah, and this positions me well. Right, so now he only has one more switch on Zap. So it's a question of that: Does that Age of Slash have close combat? Because if he does, he'll go for it here. Shadow Sneak, Shadow Ball, King Shield is probably what his last move is. He doesn't have it. He doesn't have it. If he uses a good play. Yeah, he doesn't have it. That hurts though. He's probably spell tag. Mm, not fun. 
yeah this might be over then because his d knight is just way too fast um but maybe combine clef can pull this out maybe combine clef can pull this out um and zapdos I want him to sack his landers before I defog. Mm -hmm. Me doubling the scissor over here doesn't really help. But me doubling the Age of Slash would, or doubling to Zapdos would. I think he stays in here, yep. Predicting me to switch. Okay, now I get my or uh, yeah I don't think I have any shot at this to be honest with you if I had flamethrower here I would because I'd kill his age of slash after he flash cannons uh, maybe I still can but how am I going can I win even then let's try so he commits to rapid strike which isn't gonna do any kind of damage rapid strike is too he's still faster than me yes uh, hmm I don't think the Surging Strike ever 2 it KOs. I might be able to plus 6 on him. Taunt. Wow. It's not bueno. No, I can't switch. Goes hard, Volk. Disagree vehemently with. But I'm, what I'm going to do is predict his Tran and double Moonblast here. Even if he Quiver Dances, I hard Tran. Um, and Volk being low gives me a little bit of wiggle room. Um, unless this has something i'm not aware of if he lets me toxic this next time clef sets up i might have some some wiggle room so back to zapdos we go this has defog pretty sure but he doesn't want to defog with my tran around um he might have to and if i play scissor well It's too low now. It's too low right now. Doubles to Lando. Disagree completely with that. Please hit. Completely disagree with the Lando. But he dies to rocks now. He actually slowed faster than me. Such a weird team. Rocky Helmet. Um, Rocky Helmet. Let me think. No, you definitely try to knock me off here. If you can get away with it too. If it wasn't for these meddling kids. Yeah, you definitely try to knock me off there. Okay, so I think he's losing his cool. Seems like he's losing his cool. Some of his plays are not making sense anymore. Um, just debating whether or not the heat trend double is worth it here. I think it is. Did he stay in? Okay, I was like, okay, I knew you should, you should definitely go Age of Slash there. Definitely go Age of Slash there. Oh, awesome, awesome. Because mm, Scizor means... Um, yeah, and I roost here. If he goes Tangrowth, eh. Lando Sack makes sense. Mm, maybe it's better to Volt Switch. Let me think, Roost, Chain Growth. I just get so much if I Roost and he... Sax Lando. Ah, he goes Chain Growth. Like if I Heat Wave there, he'd have been done. But it's better to keep the Zapdos alive. Because as I said, between Zapdos and all these fun toys I have, I'm good to go. So... Oh yeah, Sludge Bomb. You know I was gonna go to Scizor there too. I was literally my mind said Scizor, but you know, didn't do it. Uh, which means now, now I go to Heatran. Um, the way his team is built, I wouldn't be shocked if his Age of Slash was. Uh, Got to double his Zapdos here. If he knocks, he wins. Yeah. Um, 
He has to be careful. If his Aegis Slash is slower than me and I Heat Wave, he dies. He opts for Volk. Which makes sense because you don't want me positioning anything um, to destroy you. Force a Dragonite to roost if we hit. Yeah. Well, not necessarily. It doesn't have to roost. You can't switch, which is good. That's what I love about this. Dragonite cannot switch out. Um, and so now, because we're so high on health, we can Volt Switch. Uh, otherwise, Lando. Yeah, so it dies. But nothing stops me from doing it again. Other than Volk. Which makes sense. I need growths. So. And can anything Tango go for kill Scizor? Because now I'm going to defog. Mm, 30% knockoff I U turn out. On uh, Urshifu and then Episode. No, it's not. Mm. You turn out Urshifu. Keep Vol switching back on Tangrowth. No, I want Scizor to be at full. Okay, let's just go back to Clef. Yeah, okay. This is fine. So, here I'd probably, I'd predict my opponent to go for either Double Earthquake or Knockoff here. Because to me, it's like, okay, you'd expect me to definitely double to my Heatran here. Um, but he goes to Aegis Slash. I was like, that was if there's any turn I'd double the heat train, I figured it would be that turn. But he's probably figuring, well, I have my Dragonite. I don't feel like I have to worry too much about your heat train right now. Um, which could be true. But now we're dealing with if I get to Calm Mind again, what do you do? And I just don't know how fast this Age of Slash is. If it's faster than my Scizor, um, that'd obviously be problematic. Yeah, fortunately I have to stack Scizor. That's if he doesn't flash. Shot of balls. His tank growth is too high on health. If I go Tran, it's another Magma Storm into... I might as well go to Zapdos here. Um, I needed to defog for his Scizor. But now, I volt switch in the heat train. Thirty-three percent. I need to get this turn right. If I get it wrong, I'm screwed. Um, yeah, I got it right. I could see him um, double knocking here. Yeah. Gets paralyzed though. Which is irrelevant. No, nah, that's not true. It's not irrelevant. But um, my Heatran plus my Zapdos are really great here. So I assume my opponent would double switch out into Urshifu Rapid Strike here. Very tempted to volt switch. To roost, I mean. Um, yeah, my, uh, me, how did I lose Swampert again? There was something critical I made a mistake on in this game. I don't remember what it was. Yeah, the Dragonite toxic in my Zapdos. That's what it was. Cause I'm like, I, I know I had this somewhere. Yeah, that's the, the max speed Dragonite. So let's see if he doubles to Urshifu. Again, very obvious, but I figured even if this happened, you know, he'd have to uh, have to um, break through paralysis and hit all these surging strikes and all that stuff. So um, 
I'm gonna assume he's gonna double to his Aegis last year. Just me, just feels safe to me. Um, yeah, got him. Got him.